the last three months of 2023, Torchwood have been giving us a trilogy of Ood stories that centre around the cast members of The Impossible Planet and The Satan Pit. We've got Claire Rushbrook in Odyssey, we've got Sean Parks in Udunit, and now finally we've got Ronnie Duty in Oracle. Silas Carson has been reprising his role as the voice of the Ood in all of these stories, and Oracle is the final one in this trilogy. And it's got a really fascinating premise. We are in the 43rd century if you remember in the two part of the impossible planet and the satan pit um we had this character danny bartok who is an ethicist and he was brought onto that uh, that orbiting black hole uh for that story essentially to talk about the ethics of the situation they're, they're, you know ethicist is, is a real job it's a real profession it's something that's very very important to an extent in many of these escapades in any of these situations so the Torchwood Archive sends him, along with a crew of many other people, to investigate this crashed spaceship, which has come from 1,000 years in the future. They're on a lava world. Two of them die en route to the spaceship. So it's, it's a bit of an action-packed and depraved and depressing opening. But they get there. Danny Bartok and the rest of his team are there to try and send the spaceship back. There's nobody on board. However, there is a hard light hologram, which represents the ship's computer which takes the form of the Ood because it's decided that in this current time period the people who are here they are comforted by the presence of the Ood so this is going to be the hard light hologram form that I'm going to take but I could take others. Ronnie Duty reprises his role as Danny Bartok in this story and he has uh, a little bit of trepidation being surrounded by an Ood. Let's play a clip from Oracle. The spare parts. Neatly labelled. Of course. So, you're a hologram. Hard light Faradine projection. Okay. So you can make us tea. Would you like some tea? I just meant you can handle objects, but you can't... Fix the engines. No. Shall I explain these parts to you? You're good. You wish me to leave you? Uh, is that rude of me? I am simply an interface. My appearance is calming to the others. It is not calming to you. <laughs> you got me. I had an ood experience. It was not good. Would you like me to appear differently? I can appear as Minister Songul. Uh, you find her attractive. No. Uh, and she'd never... I see. Awkward? Yes. Can I ask what happened to your crew? I cannot tell you. Help yourself to anything you need. Like we laid into the canteen. You are my guests. And yet, Ahmed was piling his plate high. Rude. You do not like the engineer. No, I do. But you're from the future. We must seem so primitive to you. We just take. You are here to help. It's a really fascinating premise for a story, and we've got a really good cast of characters here as well. We've got um, Teresa Bannum, who plays Aletta, who is the minister who is like the basically the official ambassador for the mission you've got james barriscale who plays sergeant belky collins who's the minister who's um who's the military approach to this you've got georgina beadle who plays professor felicity martov she's the computer expert and you've got fashid roki who plays amek etok finch who is the engineer for the mission as well like i said two of them die two other characters die before they even get to the spaceship because this is a torchwood story and not everybody's going to make out a life of a torchwood story but oracle is a fascinating question about what happens if a spaceship from the future arrives with all of this material all of these computer archives essentially a massive wikipedia's worth of information for the next 1000 years and what do you do with that information and that's why danny bartok is there on the mission to make sure that history and humanity are not compromised with this information which could have devastating effects on time and on the timeline and the future progression of humanity and you've got this ood as well who is obviously is not a proper ood in and of themselves they are just a computer interface that has taken the form of an ood which means that they don't act in conventional ood ways and it's a really interesting story about how the computer interprets danny's role in the mission and how 
much information it thinks it should be able to give the humans of a thousand years ago which it's able to do it's able to go into the database and find out information about all of these individuals there's a really great scene with the engineer about his family connections and just how much the computer knows and what it does to him with the manipulation of that information really great scenes really great set pieces there's one particular pretty heart-wrenching scene where one character figures out their fate what happens to them and how are they going to try and avert it or how are they going to not necessarily suffer that same fate but basically change the fate so that it's not as uh, they don't suffer as much later on really dark scenes and it's really interesting that it's done in the context of like a bottle episode like this isn't a political intrigue story there's an aspect to that but it's the idea that this is just a small mission with an ethicist on board who are trying to piece together their own interpersonal relationships that it's in the hands of this computer that's interfacing as a nude it's really cool high concept stuff it does feel like torchwood encroaching on like black mirror territory where they do have access to the next 1000 years of history and what can they do with that information and should they do anything with that information can they make mankind better can they improve the human empire would the human empire even still be around in a thousand years time will torch would still be around in a thousand years time does the person who danny's got a crush on do they end up getting together so it, it's, it's like these big macro society questions interspersed with this sort of like micro stuff but it's the it's the micro uh, expressions it's the way how the story manifests interpersonally with the characters i i personally found uh, felicity the the computer engineer's story to be particularly heartbreaking and so much of this is crammed into like a single hour of audio ash darby has written some incredibly good stuff for torchwood over the past like couple of months uh he did sigil uh which is like one of my favorite torchwood stories of the year he also did doom scroll uh for torchwood among us volume three this guy kind of like is living in big finishes torchwood universe torchwood suv was really good as well uh, oh yeah he did propaganda as well which i remember being a pretty good opening chapter to among us part two basically ash darby is like no stranger to like big societal themes and seeing them through the torchwood lens and i'm really glad that this was his stamp on the torchwood ood trilogy i think it's been a really good trilogy overall i think that odyssey might be the best one out of the three mainly because i think silas carson has got a lot more interesting stuff to do there because he plays the ood but he also plays ida scott's father odysseus scott as well it gives him a lot more to do in the story this didn't necessarily need to be an ood it, but you know it adds a nice like little wrinkle to the story as well and like silas carson is great he, he, he's great in all of these in all of these stories but maybe the first one odyssey is the is the standout of the three but there's not a bad one amongst this bunch udon is fun oracle is really thoughtful though don't sleep on this one this is a this is a really good and thoughtful hour of torchwood with a really uh bittersweet ambiguous ending yeah or oracle was good it asks a lot of big questions and while it doesn't obviously have all of the answers to them it's it toys around with the audience's expectations and the character's expectations in really fun and playful ways ash darby's hit a home run with this one this is really good